location in Midtown is the subject of our next story. The redevelopment and new development east of Midtown Crossing near Park Avenue. But those changes may be limiting affordable options for families who cannot pay to stay in a newly remodeled building. At KATV News Watch News, Jeremy Maskell digs into the changes and one plan to include everyone in Midtown's future. I don't know how much that. Christian Gray has passion for Park Avenue. Walking along this neighborhood street, he notices real change. Whether it's Park Avenue itself, the Park East neighborhood, or Leavenworth neighborhood. There's certainly some momentum happening in the area. That's obvious. This area is a hot spot for redevelopment and new development, many times coming with higher rent. You know, we've had a lot of redevelopment, a lot of people coming in and, and fixing up houses that needed to be. Sharon West says, in a lot of ways, that's a good thing, pointing to these buildings near 26th and St. Mary's. But it can be a two way street. There's a lot of people that are being misplaced because of that. I get in my apartment building at least two calls a day of people looking for affordable housing. Over at Park Avenue, Christian Gray shows us one example. What were apartments, he says, that Cruz just demolished. But it does show the effect that it has on people. Uh, this particular person is now homeless. Each person we talked with is quick to point out they welcome investment. It needs to happen to keep a neighborhood vibrant. Each person just wants everyone included. Now, there's some beautiful apartment buildings around here that could easily be, I think, transformed into affordable housing. Talk to city planning leaders, and they welcome more affordable projects. It's just out of their hands. Well, that's not something that we can really control what the what the marketplace does. The city does offer a rental rehabilitation program for property owners, targeted at buildings with one to four units east of 72nd Street. It subsidizes half of qualifying renovation costs for certain projects, then owners must keep the property affordable for several years. So that's a good way for us to encourage uh, a smaller scale affordable housing developments in, uh, in neighborhoods, so it's rehabilitation of the, that existing housing stock. That program only averages 15 homes a year, though, and for advocates like Christian Gray, it may need to be a much bigger concept. Be thinking through the consequences not only in terms of brick and mortar, but in terms of the social consequences of planning as well. Ensuring Omaha's newest developments in some midtown neighborhoods honor that area's historic diversity. Jeremy Maskell, KETV, News Watch 7. Gray and in common community development are working on a list of ideas to create more diversity in development. Now, while working on this story, KETV News Watch 7 tried to contact several developers with projects in the Midtown area. They did not return repeated calls for comment over the last several weeks. It's another